And this is it. This is 186 County Line Roads, one road south over. Right behind me is 125 in Rogersville. So I thought I'd make a picture of it. Today is the 17th of September. It said 48 miles an hour. Well, that'll slow their little butts down. Here comes one up behind me now. Let's see what he's doing. Wow, look at the sign. It's really big and really telling them to slow their speed down. It's been probably two weeks since I've been out here. And this is, this is 186. And County Line Road is one road south over. And right behind me is 125 in Rogersville. So I thought I'd make a picture of it. And look at the big beautiful sky. You can see the trees are already starting. To, that tree right there is changing. It's, today is the 17th of September. 2023. Oh, it blinked on him. He was going, it said 48 miles an hour. Well, that'll slow their little butts down. Here comes one up behind me now. Let's see what he's doing. There's one that way. Well, Oh, it didn't show him. Huh. Oh, you can tell how fast he's going by looking at where he's at. He's there doing every bit of 50. All right, that's all I want to say about that. Oh, I did want to tell you this real quick. I've noticed in the last two weeks, no hanging trails from them planes. They call them con trails. None of them. Hopefully that whole project with uh, chem trails and putting stuff in the air from planes, military planes, even at that, has come to an end. That's what I'm speaking has happened. Y'all keep watching my channel. I'll give you more information about that later. Well, I'm back in uh, Rogersville, so I come back through here and I see the church has a sign. Now whether it's one that I've already done. That's okay because it says faith honors God and God honors faith. That's good. I'm telling you, that's real good. You got to have faith in something in this world because I'm telling you, everything that you thought you knew about this reality is not true. You'll have to put your faith in the Christ that lives with inside of you to make it through these turmoils and these upheavals that we're fixing to go through. As in the days of Noah, we got some crazy crap going on in this world. And I want you to have peace. I want you to have faith. I want you to know that you are the resurrected power of the I Am. Christ is in you. The kingdom of God is within you. You're not a body. You're a light being inhabiting a physical form for a short time. You can handle whatever this world throws at you. You can see truth because your Father will reveal it to you. The creator of all source. This world is subject to be one big lie. It's more of an illusionary reality than it is a God-based creation. See, if God made it, my Father made it, it's eternal. The Christ that dwells within us when we call out and ask for that to happen doesn't come from dipping me in water. It doesn't come from going to a church. It came from me being at the end of my rope. Now, we're coming up on the harvest. These people are going to get to the end of their rope and they're going to call out on the name of Yahshua, Christ, 
God, Father. I called out first time I did it, August 17, 2003. I just instantly said, Father. I didn't know what I was even talking about. I just asked for help. I said, please take these thoughts of suicide, depression, anxiety out of me. I hadn't slept in nine months, more than four, five hours waking up with these worms crawling through my head. Next day I woke up, my mind was completely still. That's been over 20 years. <laughs> 20 years of bliss peace, and I've been trying to explain it to people, and it's so damn hard, but now I'm fixing to be able to watch it happen in people. When you come to the end of you, and the end of the carnality, you're going to go through a, like a fire, like a hellfire. It's going to burn up everything that you held dearly as a truth because this world is not what we think it is. This reality is an illusionary simulation because it's passing away. This physical body's passing away. The Christ that lives within each atom of your body and each atom of the people that you see and speak to and talk to, all of us have God potential. But there's only a few of us. So don't ever be under the influence that there's a lot of people out there in this world. Can't go off into that. That's a long subject. But I'm going to tell you this. For the people that are awakening to Christ consciousness, and they're changing everything about their life, their body, their mind, their eating habits, their sleeping habits, everything. They're starting to believe and think with their heart more than they do with their carnal mind and carnal eyes. That's a sign of awakening, and that's what we're in. The ones that can't do that, they're going to go through the hellfire of cleansing the carnality out of them. And then they'll come into a peaceful mind. And all you'll see is Christ in everyone. No judging. Don't even question if they have faith or not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're the only ones got to get this. If you that I'm speaking to get this, then give it to somebody else, please. I love y'all. <laughs> y'all have a good one. Well, I want to show you these cables. See, it ain't tight yet, but they'll get it tight. And they got them all the way down through there. They had some kind of vent yesterday. And it looks like they cleaned the bridge off so people could walk across it. I bet that's what they did. But, yeah, they'll come back and they'll tighten these up. Let me look at that back side of it. Yeah, it's got a nut on it. All right. This guardrail stays, and that one stays. There's the people out on the deck at the restaurant, Finley Farms restaurant. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Looks like a window pane's out. Look at that. We can't have that. Somebody's got to get on that and fix that. Johnny drive by see that somebody gonna get in trouble all right I'm gonna go y'all have a good one